the experiment goes as planned, how do you accomplish it? You don't simply uh, dial operators and say, give me long distance, do you? No, we dial topside, though, and ask them to connect us with the Cal station. And once the communications are established, whatever we say from uh, C-Lab will go through our helium voice unscrambler, and the operator at Cal or at Houston will manually key the transmitter so that it's, uh, it goes on the NASA net to GT5. If this proves satisfactory, we will do it again, but relay directly from our own UHF set here to the capsule. I think that uh, probably visibility will be a problem, and uh, the water temperature, which is quite low, will, be, uh, will restrict our activity some. How much uh, latitude do you have then down there from maneuvering around the sea lab? A normal dive, 66 feet, 33 feet above and 33 feet below, but we will extend it on some occasions to 66 feet below. And uh, you, I suppose you can go laterally as far as you uh, can without losing sight of the sea lab? No, uh, visibility will affect uh, this, but we will proceed beyond visual range with a tether and maybe without a tether, depending on uh, the conditions on the bottom. Is the tether what will govern your uh, distance from the sea lab then? Not necessarily. Depends again on the visibility. Is this much the same as uh, astronaut White uh, used when he walked in space? Yes, it'll be longer. And uh, our tether is not to assure our returning. It's to show us which way to go. We can get back if we know which way to go. But we lose sight of our home, and Ed didn't lose sight of his. Uh, We've got a new machine this time. You might compare it to Gemini. We're doing the same thing that's been done before, but with a new machine. So maybe you could compare this uh, with Gemini. New machine, larger crew. We have a new, uh, a new habitat and a larger crew. But you're looking for every sort of success? Sure are. Aren't you? Yes. <laughs>